Come on, check out the new waterfalls. Oh, beautiful. You like it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It looks like a different garden. Oh, yeah. God, it's, it's amazing. Awesome. I did the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I am jealous that I do not get to continue to work on our pond out there in Downers. It's just such a baby of mine and uh, I would love to place every single rock. But if there's a man I trust more than anything, it's that Mr. Hansen. So we'll check in with Chris a little bit later, see how he's doing out there. I'm hoping we have that thing wrapped up by Friday, maybe Monday at the latest, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Next stop, airport then Idaho. All right guys, so I lied, I said the next stop was the airport. I just skipped right past the airport and landed in Boise, Idaho. So met this guy, you guys might know who he is. He does something with ponds, and if you forget, he usually wears uh, clothing that kind of reminds everybody <laughs> what, what he does. So we are off, I'm not sure if we're stopping at the hotel or go to our final destination. Laura and Aaron at Garden Answers. Laura and Aaron at Garden Answers. Hey guys, how's it going Laura with Garden Answer? All right guys, long day, and now we're finally here. It's not at all what I expected, but I can't wait to show you the gardens. All that I can say is from here, I'm already jealous of the house. I can tell you it's probably an older home with an addition put on there, but I love this farmhouse look. And uh, she was actually telling me one of the plans is to do a wraparound porch on this thing, which then would make me extremely jealous because I've always wanted a house with a wraparound porch. But look at the gardens. It's just amazing. So cool. They said they've been here four years and you can tell there's been an enormous amount of work. But look at this. So awesome i really like this space a lot just beautiful and the play on different colors love it i love the formality of some of it i love that they have these little vignettes off in the distance that constantly keep pulling you towards them and as much as i want to remove grass and put in more water i think the grass is important that splash of green that idea of just getting your eyes to rest for a second looks great Okay, Brian and Laura have just been walking around for probably 30 minutes looking at different spots. Pros and cons about every area, but I think they got the area finalized for us to build this project tomorrow. I hear great. Yes, I am coming. So after three or four different areas, Laura, that we discussed, this is what you're thinking? Yeah, the woods. The woods, We're yeah, we kind of did. <laughs> All right, so Brian, go ahead and tell us what you and Laura have come up with. This space, I think it just instantly says relaxation because it's the woods, yeah. my favorite place places are in the woods. Mm -hmm. I love the, the canopy of all the trees. I like this seating area out over in here. Mm -hmm. And then look at this, like doesn't this just call for like some running water moving through here? Can you tell me, Laura, but I'm just kind of picturing this really gentle babbling brook, yeah. way more bird loving, I guess. Yeah than crashing water and right. all that gentle. kind of stuff. Yeah, very so gentle. very gentle. Mm -hmm. And so it's gonna start back up in here, Greg, and then just kind of twist and turn, doing doing its thing, and then finish right in here. Okay, right along the pathway. I feel like this, it's gonna be a perfect fit. Like the look of this is going to be a perfect fit for this area, and we do walk this area a lot. So we'll be able to enjoy this almost more than maybe some of the other locations yeah. we've looked at. So I feel like we're gonna really get maximum enjoyment. You're gonna be walking, it'll be like almost a discovery process. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so stay tuned. Next steps, we'll be <laughs> actually building the pondless waterfall right in this little area. We'll probably pop off the hostas and put them back in. That's a good idea, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the cameraman, I love my job. <laughs> so we're just getting ready to dig. And my fearless helper behind me over here All right. playing. Now you push me, I'm gonna get in and you push me, okay? You ready? Oh, the joys of okay, working with I the pond guy. Okay, go. Tip him. Just go push me. <laughs> <laughs> already well into it. We've already cleared out all the hostas, some of the other stuff in here. We're gonna dig in our aqua basin, and then uh, Greg and Laura are gonna head off to the garden center and go get a couple extra plants. Spruce this thing up, but we're gonna get that stream coming through here. Can't wait. Greg, did you get a nice tree? We got a nice tree, we got some nice ground covers, and I think that her concerns about the color of the uh, rocks is gonna be quickly hidden by some beautiful plants. Well, I, that's her thing, right? Yeah. If you can't make it disappear, nobody can. <laughs> we don't want to make it disappear. <laughs>
We got our four by four foot aqua basin in, got the hole dug, we tamped the bottom, laid that thing in there. One thing I want you to pay attention to, this reservoir is 16 inches deep. Notice how I set it a few inches lower than grade. My biggest pet peeve is when this thing is finished, to see this sticking up above grade, because when water comes down, it should look like it's eroded away the soil. So we want it to be lower than the surrounding area. Just makes it look a little bit more natural when we're done. All right, so what you thinking now, Brian? We've got the hard part done, right? The tank is in there. You can see we put a fabric over the top just to keep all the dirt from washing into that tank. Trying yep. to keep the inside as clean as possible. Now the fun part starts and it's the building of the waterfall. And what's awesome is um, all the different opinions. But you shouldn't listen to anybody else. Right? <laughs> except uh, except the customer. No, except just Brian. Uh -uh. <laughs> well, what we love to say, don't give the customer what they ask for, give them what they want. Yeah. I don't know if you saw that, but we you know, set a frame rock back in there. And then this was gonna be my spill stone and it didn't sit just right. So the reason we build from the bottom and work our way up to the top is because then I have the freedom to take this liner, pull it back, carve out the soil for that rock to fit in there just right. Never start at the top and work your way down because you're very limited on the creativity of it all. This is kind of my favorite part, right? Building the waterfalls. The one thing I could recommend if you're gonna try to do this yourself or even for people that have done it before, keep it simple, stupid. One rock on one side, this is called my frame rock. Another rock on another side, the other frame rock, and then something in between. When it starts looking artificial is when you start stacking a bunch of boulders on top of each other. If I'm gonna build a 10 inch drop, I want a 12 inch rock on this side, a 12 inch rock on this side. And then it's just repeat. So now I'm gonna figure out where I want the next one. We've got uh, our waterfalls all framed out. This one we actually used a log to kind of frame out the waterfalls, which will look great. It actually adds that natural look. But now we're about to ready to hook up the plumbing. You don't need to be a licensed plumber to do this at all. It's actually quite simple. We use this thing, which is actually called our waterfall spillway. This is gonna accept our pipe. Now the reason we use this thing is because when water comes out of this, it swells up. And it's really important that water swells up before it goes over a waterfall. If I were to just take a hose and put it right here, water would shoot out of this and you never see water shoot out over a waterfall. It kind of swells up and then drops. So this will actually get that water to stop from shooting and, and not necessarily slow it down, but it'll allow it to pool up. Now the placement of this thing is completely up to you. If you wanted to build another waterfall, you could set it up over here. If I wanted to bring it over here, I could bring it over here to keep this easy. I'm gonna drop it here because my plumbing's coming from that trench that we placed over in there. The other thing I did is I sunk it down a little bit. The only way to hide this is to put a rock over the top. I don't want this thing sitting like that because a rock sitting higher than this one is gonna look weird. We're gonna start getting into that stacked boulder look again. I want this to sit recessed so the next rock that sits in here sits close to the same level as this. I'll have to say I'm having a lot of fun. I haven't done a small project like this in, in quite some time. And I love that you can just spend the time to carve every rock in a place and it's looking really good. So let me show you where we're at. They even started dropping in some of the plants, but we're gonna get a fall here. We got another waterfall that's coming between those two rocks, kind of dropping this way. Stream will wrap around that. And then check out this log we've got here. So we'll get another little fall right in there. So we've already gotten our spillway put in back in there so water is going to come out of that space wrap around into this little pool drop over that drop over this move around this rock and then drop that way it's just coming together nice it's fun it's shaded the weather's perfect and uh i just love the progress of it so far so not bad for three and a half hours and uh two guys so you're doing your thing planting huh right <laughs> I like that. That is beautiful. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Bingo! So we always say the waterfall is your signature on every project, right? But the edges and the plant material really make or break the whole thing. I always say if you can find a shrub to hide an air conditioner, you can find a plant to hide all your flaws or something in your water feature, right? Edges are really important. The most common thing for people to do, they leave this liner, they'll leave it out here like this, then they just take this gravel and they plop it on it because it's easy and effortless. What happens though is when they're all done, you have this necklace look 
all the way around and it looks extremely artificial, especially in the first year. So what we do is we do a couple different edge treatments. The key is not to do the same thing throughout. Then you come in with a plant like this and imagine this thing buried and it kind of hanging over the rock. And like Greg always says, you love when you can't tell where the water ends and where the land begins. Like I always challenge our customers, try to hide the rock. I know you'll never be totally successful, but when the rock kind of peeks out amongst the plants is when it starts re looking really, really natural. All right, Laura, so we're ready to what we call foam our waterfalls. Right now, if I were to turn this on, there's no way I would get any water to come over the top of this. You mm. see this big giant hole right yeah. here? Mm -hmm. The water takes the path of least resistance just like it would in nature, right? Mm -hmm. So it's gonna find that huge hole and shoot down through there. It'll find this crack over here and shoot down through there. So no matter how much you try to compact the liner up against the back side of the rock, there's inevitably gonna be these little spots. So we take this expanding waterfall foam. Mm -hmm. It's like a polyurethane foam and it'll go in and it'll actually fill up that whole void. So I just take the can, I shake it. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna shoot it down in this hole. Woo! So just a little bit and it starts coming out. Uh -huh. And I come down in here. And you can see how fast it goes. So yeah. when you do this, be careful. Okay. And what you, what you never do is get it on yourself. Because once it's on you, it's never coming off. Okay. <laughs> so when Greg says, let Benjamin play with it, it might be a supervised <laughs> moment. Okay. <laughs> there you go. How much? Oh, Keep going all the way to the top. Yep. Oh, watch your hands. Oh. It's leaking out the back. Oh, oh it got you. <laughs> now you're a waterfall builder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, filling it up. So look at how this is just, looks like it's been here forever. Yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Can't wait to see this thing run. Let's plug it in, are you ready? Yes, the moment so, of truth. Yes, it looks very natural. It's beautiful. If it looks beautiful before it's flowing, just imagine when it starts to flow. Just... Measure up a pool. Oh my goodness, that is so beautiful. It looks like a different, I mean a different garden, like a better garden. Water adds life to any garden. Yeah. This is life now. We have life here. That is gorgeous. This is a nice sound. Beautiful job. Literally two guys that are certified oxygen packagers to put this in a half a day. You know, we did all the landscaping, which is a little extra. Uh -huh. But this kit installed as you see it right now would run around $5,000 from a certified Aquascape contractor. Mm -hmm. You could buy the materials to build this. The kit from Aquascape is around 1,000, and then you probably got a couple hundred dollars in stone and gravel. Mm -hmm. So maybe for $1,500, this is a do-it-yourselfer project. Mm -hmm. Nobody is gonna build a waterfall that natural looking in the beginning, but the nice thing about the foam that you got on yeah. your fingers is, <laughs> you could, if we didn't like anything, we could take it out, rip it out, and an hour later, start it up again. A kit like this for $5,000, you completely transform the space. Yeah. And if, it, if you're a do-it-yourself or it's a labor of love, this is a, maybe a two-weekend project sure. for somebody, mm -hmm. for the family. And this is the thing that we really enjoy is the families, how they interact with it. Mm -hmm. Because you'll spend more time now oh, yeah. in this in this yeah. portal out here because of the fact you have this to listen to. Right. Because you're such an influencer in the gardening genre, we want to give away one of these kits. So if you want one of your viewers to watch this, uh -huh. go to the link below, and it's how you can actually win your own kit because we what? want more people living the Yakuza lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. I love it. You We're won't, you won't, get, you won't <laughs> get Brian and I out there, but you can watch our videos to learn how to do it. And mm -hmm. so we're very honored that you would allow Thank us you. to build in this incredible garden and help make it even a nicer garden. Yeah, really. And is. we would love to inspire one of your viewers to actually be able to do this for themselves. Awesome. So we'll be happy if you check out the link below to give one of these kits away to one of your viewers. Awesome. That's awesome. Don't miss the opportunity, you guys. You will <laughs> love this. <laughs> Welcome to living the Aquascape lifestyle. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. So thank much. you. Thanks for the opportunity. It's amazing. I just want to kind of sit back and relax. Yeah, now, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> I just want chairs. We yep. just created a new seating area out here. Yes. First one of many. Yes. Good job, Brian. Thank See you. ya. I love my job. Do you like it? That's exactly, that's a light. Benjamin is liking it. And Laura, what would you say about this process? Uh, well, you guys made it look really easy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I feel like watching the process, I would almost, ha almost have the confidence. I'd have to watch like several. Yeah, that's why we have videos. the how-to videos, yep. yeah. Um, but I feel like it's an easy, small project that somebody could put together in their own landscape. And that was the goal. So how do you think today went? 
doesn't mind great, and it's fun to do it for someone who's gonna, you know, is gonna love it. And we know that there's gonna be more projects because they, they were missing water. That garden, as great as it was, was missing water. So that's a wrap with the pond guy. We just built Laura an epic aquascape <laughs> pond and waterfall kit. <laughs> waterfall. <laughs> Landscape and waterfall there pond you go. kit. Either way, rocks, liner, pumps, really cool. Another job in the books, done. Let us know what you think. I loved it. <laughs>